The rise of male R&B groups saturated the music scene in the 90s. It seemed that every time you blinked, another one popped up. Jodeci, Boys to Men, Blackstreet, Shy, and the list goes on. One such group to emerge from the crowded pack was a quartet of four brothers. They not only shared DNA, but also tremendous musical talent. They were a hit straight out of the gate, but being so young, they were also the perfect target for the industry vultures to feast on. Let's find out what happened to 90s R&B group Soul For Real. Christopher Chalk Dalrymple, Andre Dre Dalrymple, Brian Bry or KD Dalrymple, and Jason Jace or Jace For Real Dalrymple from Wheatley Heights, New York, formed the R&B quartet Soul For Real in the early 90s. Their father was a bishop and their mother was a reverend. So naturally, prior to becoming an official group, the siblings had already spent many years singing in their church choir. However, even coming from a strict West Indian household, the boys still ended up engaging in some street activities before deciding to focus on a more positive goal. One day, while performing at a local talent show, someone in the audience took a special interest in them and knew his brother, who was a pretty big deal in the music industry at the time, needed to see them for himself. That man's brother was none other than Dwight Myers, better known as rapper, record producer, and actor Heavy D. Heavy naturally took the group to the label that he was on, Uptown Records, and introduced them to founder Andre Harrell. The boys signed with Uptown Records in 1992, and under the tutelage of Andre and Heavy, captivated audiences with their unique brand of exciting hip-hop soul. Heavy even had a hand in giving the group a brand new name, since the one they were originally performing under just didn't quite work. They released their debut album titled Candy Rain in 1995. The first single and title track produced by Heavy shot to number two on the Billboard Hot 100 and claimed the number one position on the R&B chart. Their second single, Every Little Thing I Do, also did well by securing a top 20 placing on the Hot 100 and R&B chart. Their second album, For Life, was released in September 1996. A couple of singles were released, but didn't do anywhere near as well as the tracks off their first album. At this time, Andre Harrell left Uptown to take over the CEO position at Motown Records. The group would later attribute his absence as a major factor for the poor performance of their second album. They felt that the effort Andre put into them wasn't matched when Heavy took over. Promotion was also an issue. The second album just didn't get anywhere near the attention from the label that their debut did. After Andre left, so did Soul For Real. They then signed to independent label Chrome Dome Records. They butted heads in a major way with the powers that be over how they wanted to approach their next project. Nevertheless, their third album titled Heat did drop in May 1999. Only one single was released and the album itself failed to chart. Many years would go by without any more music from the foursome. They maintained that they never broke up. The industry rather broke up with them. However, during this time, each of the individual members would pursue their own solo music projects. Except for Bry. He would choose to pursue more illegal business ventures. We'll get into that a little later. In 2007, word on the street was that Soul For Real was working on their fourth album. In anticipation, a track called One Man, featuring rapper Jadakiss, was released later that year. No album ever manifested. Also at this time, youngest member Jace, who also goes by Jace For Real, formed his own production company. Sadly, the next time the brothers would make headlines would be for all the wrong reasons. While trying to maintain the lifestyle he'd become accustomed to at the height of Soul For Real's success, Bry started engaging in activities he shouldn't have. Eventually, he was caught and charged with 145 counts of aggravated identity fraud in 2009. A laundry list of related charges like forgery and aggravated bank fraud would also be a part of the indictment. It was estimated that over 260 victims were struck and at least eight banks for as much as $1 million. He was even on the run for several weeks with his infant son in tow before being apprehended in North Carolina while hiding in a friend's closet. He would end up serving five years in prison. 
Hopefully, from now on, Bri will stick to more legitimate ways to make a buck to support his eight children and multiple baby mamas. On November 8, 2011, Heavy D passed away. The members of Soul For Real revealed that they were devastated to learn that he was gone, especially since they had lost contact with him for many years and never imagined that they wouldn't get the opportunity to see or speak to him again. In the years to come, however, they would get the chance to express how they really felt about their experience under his guidance. By 2012, Soul For Real had relocated to Atlanta, Georgia and announced, once again, that they were in the studio working on their fourth album. Also again, in anticipation of the new project, they released a single called Can't Leave You Alone. Jace created his own record label, BEA Music Entertainment, in 2014, on which he would release his future projects and collaborate with other upcoming artists. Four years later, there was still no fourth album. However, the Band of Brothers did release a new single called Love Again. Bry delved into the restaurant business and opened up his own establishment located in Atlanta, featuring authentic Trinidadian cuisine in 2017. The brothers are actually first-generation American, since both of their parents hail from the country. However, if you're thinking on checking it out, it appears that the restaurant is now closed, but they still do catering and meal prep delivery. It shouldn't be a surprise to anyone as to what happened after reading their online reviews. During an April 2019 interview with New York's Power 105.1 radio station morning show, The Breakfast Club, Soul For Real got extremely real, speaking about their former mentor, Heavy D. Maybe a little too real. Chalk specifically co-signed DJ Envy saying that Heavy's passing was his karma for what he did to the group. They felt like he could have taken better care of them, as far as publishing, among other things, being so young and inexperienced. They also felt that after bumping heads with Heavy, they were blackballed in the industry. After tremendous backlash on social media over the interview, they would later try to clean up what they said. At the end of that year, the group released Christmas material for the first time with the tracks Silent Night and Christmas Time Is Here. Their latest effort was their first single in four years called Love On Me in April 2020 and is available on all digital music streaming platform services. 2020 also marks Soul For Real's 25th anniversary of their debut album, Candy Rain. The release of their biopic called Truth, The True Story of Soul For Real was scheduled to coincide with the anniversary. However, it appears to still be in production. One of their most recent appearances was in March 2021 at DJ Cassidy's televised music special, Pass the Mic, BET After Party, following the 52nd NAACP Image Awards. The opportunity gave many of their longtime fans, who possibly hadn't seen them in a while, a much needed dose of nostalgia. All four members came dressed to impress and belted out a perfect sing-along rendition of their first ever hit, Candy Rain. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time. Thank you.